There he is. That is the um, sound of a real screaming. And it's keeping on screaming. This is called a panhandle bonefish. It's very rare. There's a smile on Captain Tom's face. No telling where the damn fish is. Now. He's down. And he's going further down. And what size rod is that you got, Captain Tom? Eight. That's an eight. <laughs> it doesn't look like an eight, Captain Tom. He is bowed up on an eight. He is working the fish pretty hard. The fish is working Captain Tom pretty hard, yeah. also. This thing be like a TV set tied to the end of your line. <laughs> He's cutting to the left. Cut. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh man, with the greatest of ease. I think this is our. We're still on our first 30 minutes of fishing time right now, boys. It's a very strong fish. Pound for pound, we'll put him with the whatever you can put him with. They're still there everywhere that the eye can see. Yeah. Woo! Ah. Death spiral mode. Damn! And you sure that's an eight weight? Yeah. <laughs> I was catching them on a six the other day and like. That was. Uh, I said to hell with that. <laughs> Oh man. You hear the sound in the background, it's about a thousand. Or two thousand. Yeah, two thousand fish working. There we go. There he is. There he is. Now if I wasn't the cameraman I'd go net him, but I have uh, a higher calling. I think I can do both at the same time. He's nice. I don't know, what do you think he weighs? Four pounds? Five pounds? I believe he's a five pound fish. But he's a turbocharged fish. Stiff as a board. <coughs> Solid muscle. Yep. Beautiful fish. Glorious fish. Beautiful marking. Blue. And my polar fiber minnow. While we're speaking, there's about 2,000 in the background, y'all. See, it looks like wallpaper on the water. I'm going to stop the film here. Things. I mean, fast seems to work. Oh, god damn, that will blow up on it. Oh, yeah. there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not only did he blow up on it, he bit it. <laughs> now, what you gonna do with him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knows he's hooked yet.
Good size fish. They're just a st stiff piece of muscle, man. Yeah. It's a board. Look at all them fish, even while we got one on. I wake here off the other boat for ooh, you know. I seem to have lost ground to the fish right here in the last 30 seconds or so. <laughs> now that he realizes that he's hooked. Tom won't be satisfied fighting the fish he's got. He's looking at 2,000 of them. Yeah. I'm already thinking about the next one. Look how small those little minnows are. That's what... Feeding on really, really small glass minnows. But I imagine they eat several thousand in a day. Got to, I mean... He's burning a lot of fuel right now. Well, hell yeah. This fish it. probably bit about 40 feet from the boat. He <laughs> and he's he still 40 up. feet. He blew up. <laughs> he blew he up. And he's still 40 foot from the boat, I think. Maybe 38. It feels like there's a damn skin diver down there that's just playing with you. <laughs> Whoever's going out with me tomorrow is going to be. Should have a large. Wow. God almighty. If you'd have hooked him a hundred yards away, you never would have landed. And I ain't saying you're landing him yet. We're checking out St. Croix's light <laughs> rods for them. They don't know it, but they guarantee them not to break, so. Check out behind you that, uh, that. Oh, yeah. Every one you think's bigger than the last one, and you get them back yeah, to the that. top, it's like. Quit playing with the fish, Tom. Put him I'm in the boat. I'm doing a build dance here. We're <laughs> in the water right <laughs> <laughs> nah, you just got. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think so. He pulls about like a 115 pound largemouth bass. There we go. Yeah, that's considerably heavy.